So he's out of the game. So it is Howard back in. Ferguson, Carmichael to White. White with the tough kind of double pump fake shot there. Back to White and makes it. It was off a bit of a comedy of errors there. Here's the Oliver. Gets through a couple. Slows it down. And we're halfway through. About five and a half to go here. Kenny, nice move. Good, good pump fake. And makes the two. Great move there by Kenny. It's kind of the, kind of the, the skill that he has on an offer to, to show. Oh, got deflected off a long NFL-type pass. Ball on the line. And we'll come back to Phoenix. Substitution being made. Let's have a look at this. This is Kenny here. Nice crossover. That's a really good move. Got wide up in the end and made the two down that end of the floor. That's a great move. So we go back to live action. What a Brown for three. Just short. He's had a few attempts today, Brown, and then puts up the floater. That was a better option and makes it. So Dolliver with it. Puts up the two, makes a great, great work there by Jack Oliver. So Ferguson gets past to pull on. In turn white. Try intended for Brown. Brown was able to get it after the, the deflection. Ferguson back to, to White as the two Rangers connect. And, and a travel has been called. And the ball goes out of uh, sorry, the ball will go to Grand Deers. As you can see, a few charges plays like in the background throughout the coverage. Terry Masunda down there having a talk with Glenn Fairfield. Did see Jared Weeks near the Phoenix bench as well too. So great to see uh, uh, Telstra Hobart Chargers players, men's and women's, out here today supporting all the junior teams. Great to see that they can get back in the community. As White goes all the way and gets fouled. So foul's been caught on to Oliver. And White will go to line for two. As you can see there, yeah. Sign goes off in the background. So more subs. Looks like it's a sub. It could be someone might have been... Uh, so that's 13. Hurst's coming off. Uh, Howlett's coming back. Kenny looks like he's having a breather as well too. Looks like Devine's out on the floor there. With De Oliver and Griffiths. So White missed the first. Makes the second. 59-25 is our scoreline. And it's De Oliver. Goes to work here. Here's Robinson. Good drive. And well deserved as well too. Good shot. That was a good drive, good aggressive drive to the basket, and that's what and that's what we like to see. Carmichael responds down the upper end. Off a good pass from Dom White. And then Pullen able to deflect the pass and the ball goes out of bounds. Got a piece of that. So more substitutions being made here. And his play restarts. And, four, and ball goes out of bounds after Johnson tried to pull it back in but didn't run out of court space. And we are in the last three minutes of this ball game, 61-27. As you can see on the scoreboard there. So ball goes to Howard, and then Howard was on the foot was on the line, so that will be a Phoenix possession. Clock ticking down. It'll be two, this will probably be a running clock, so it'll be uh, too long to go. Here's Carmichael over to Johnson. Brown. Johnson for three. Two pieces of the rim about success. And the rebound went to Howard there. And then the ball came back, and there was a travel in the process from Johnson. And Grand is to get it back. So... Probably we're now under the two-minute mark. 
and just about all over Red Rover as we keep on keeping on here. Carmichael have enjoyed his game today as well too. I've actually enjoyed a few of the Phoenix boys here with their, with their games and they've done a good job. Brown putting on a lot of pressure. And then eventually that all paid off with a four pass Carmichael. But travelled first. Didn't put the ball to the four first. So he got caught for travel. But I have liked Carmichael's game. He's, he's done a really good job today, this young kid. And uh, certainly I'll be keeping an eye on him in the Phoenix ranks myself. So I do coach at Phoenix. So be on the lookout for, always on the lookout for, for talent and players coming through. So we'll see what happens as Robinson does a really good job to keep that alive. Gets it off to Griffiths. Griffiths beats Johnson, gets a good screen there. Griffiths goes coast to coast, but Brown had a hand in hand in that and got and Griffiths got denied. Carmichael on the drive. Yeah, missed the layup. White was there to pick up the pieces and makes the two. So probably near a minute to go. So Phoenix are reluctantly to back off from the pressure as much as they're up by uh, 36. They, um, they certainly are not holding back. So foul on the play, so uh, Devine will go to the line for two. Makes it first. Makes the second. Shot there. Johnson. He got foul on the play. And we'll go to the baseline. And then pass well, both White and Howard going for the ball there. Tough contest, so ball will come back to Phoenix. Should be in the final seconds, if not the final minute. White puts it up. Strong, aggressive move. Gets the end one, and we'll go to the line for one. So we'll get the replay. Good drive there by Don White. He's certainly shown. He's one of the, one of the top players in, in the competition. Good, aggressive kind of game he's got. I do like Don White's game. Spent a bit of time with him in the FDP program and goes to show that he's one to watch as he makes another two. 67-29. We are just about done as far as the fourth quarter is concerned. This should be final seconds and on cue. There goes the buzzer. And well, Phoenix showed how dominant they can be and pretty much ran this game out very comfortably by 38 points in the end. It was Phoenix 67. Grandiers 29, and commiserations to Grandiers, but they fought out all the way to the end, and it, and Terry Masunda in the house to present the medallions here to the referees and the players. Referees Roy O'Moore and Tyson Joseph. Good to see Terry in the house. So Grandiers, again, they've had a great season regardless.